guys, Shauna Capri here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me. I'm going to do my hair, my makeup, and show you guys my outfits. Um, this is my very first time doing a video like this, but I wanted to do something different. Kind of switch it up, spice it up a little bit on my channel. See if you guys like this. Hopefully you guys like this because I feel like I need to do more production-like stuff and kind of just, you know, talk to you guys more and just do different stuff on my channel. So, with that being said, if you are interested, make sure you keep on watching. Smash that subscribe button. Like this video. Give this video a thumbs up up and turn the post notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me so i'm going to start off with my hair first um i chose to go with this braided wig that i did um if you would like to see the video of how i did this i will leave it up here um link it up here in the video somewhere I'm actually getting ready to take some instagram pictures so that is exactly what i'm going to be doing so yeah i'm going to go ahead and lay down my wig and everything like that i'm not going to put a wig cap on i'm just going to put the wig on do my edges and move on to my makeup so let's just go ahead and lay this wig so i don't really have like a mirror i'm looking at because i'm not at my vanity i'm kind of just looking inside the camera so y'all gonna have to bear with you girl i do have like a little mirror right here but i'm gonna to lay this bad boy down I'm gonna take a little bit of got to be glue. Got to, yeah, got to be glue. I thought I said it wrong at first, but so I'm gonna take some got to be glue and I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. I usually use like a comb, an end of a comb to lay this down. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the end of my comb and lay this down. Let me say I am no professional at all. This is just how I lay down my wigs. I'm not a professional, I don't claim to be a professional, so that is that. I wanna get better at laying my wigs, so I really do. I wanna get better at this. I wanna start doing more wig videos for you guys. I'm actually very interested in doing more wig videos on my channel, so if anybody out there or any businesses or brands are watching this video, DM me or you know, email me or something, or just leave a comment down below, like reach out to me. For my edges, I'm just gonna take a little bit of mousse. I'm almost out of this. The best it's going to get. I'm going to use a scrunchie to tie this back. And there we go. And now I'm going to start on my makeup. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with a little bit of primer. I'm gonna clean that glue up right there. I'll get it after the video. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer first. I just bought this new concealer um, from Ulta. It's by Milani. It's the Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer. 
I just wanted to try something new, so I'm gonna give it a try. It, looks, it smells like paint. <laughs> but this is what it looks like, y'all. Yeah. Go ahead and conceal. Ooh, I like how it feels going on. Ooh. It feels really, really good. Okay, the coverage. Come through coverage. Okay, I'm liking the coverage on there. Okay, I'm liking how this blend. Okay, so far I like that. I like how it blends in. I like the color. It looks good. Okay. Milani, I see you. I see you. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my foundation stick. I'm going to be using the color Binning um, by Juvia's Place. It's all messed up, y'all. It's like, mm, it looks bad. And I'm going to just put it in the spots where I didn't conceal it. I love this foundation stick. I'm gonna go in with my Revolution foundation stick and this is F16. I'm gonna use this to contour a little bit. Y'all, sometimes I'm like really iffy with trying like new brands cause your girl is scared to like get her, her wrong color. Like I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not a professional when it comes to makeup. So I just get really nervous sometimes when it comes to like doing makeup, I really do. Like, Starting new stuff, you just get so nervous with doing. I'm one of those people, I get nervous. I get so nervous when it's time to like, try something new. I'm like, eh. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. I don't be want to try new stuff like that. But I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm just trying some new things, new techniques with my makeup and stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to like step out of the box, you know? But yeah, so then we go with that. And now I'm gonna go in with some NYX um, finishing powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I like this finishing powder. This finishing powder is really good, actually. I'm just gonna pat that under my eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. And there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my my um, eyeshadow. I don't know which one I wanna choose. I don't know if I wanna do this Zoel ColourPop Brunch Day Palette or if I want to like dip in this Zodiac Palette by uh, BH Cosmetics or if I wanna do something about Juvia's Place. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this palette. I'm gonna do something simple. Simple and not too dramatic today. I'ma stay simple, you know? <laughs> simple, simple, simple. Okay, so in this palette, I'm gonna take the color Mimosa, is this color here. And I'm gonna just put that all over my eyelid. It's like a base. So let's do that. Ooh, I like that all over my eyelid as a base. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm nervous when it comes to like eyeshadows too. I'll be like, I don't want to try new eyeshadow. Or do I want to do my everyday look eyeshadow every day? Cause guys, I don't know if you know, I don't wear make, I don't wear not makeup. I don't wear a lot of um, lipstick either. I'm trying to like dabble into like lipsticks as well too. Like I'm just trying to do something different in my life, you know. So far, I'm liking how that how this coming out. It's really pretty. Guys, I remember when I used to suck at blending. Like when I first started doing makeup, I was like sucking so bad at blending. But now your girl, she got it down pack. Your girl know how to blend now. Now I'm going to be taking this color right here, French Toast. French Toast. And I'm going to just put that in this area right here in my eye. Just a little bit to kind of like smoke it up. Ooh. 
Oh, I like. Absolutely. I'm loving this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the color cinnamon sugar. I'm going to put that in the middle right here of my eyelid. Oh, it's so pigmented. All right. Now I'm going to take, oh, I don't know what color I'm going to take because I like this color here. It's called extra sauce, extra, extra slice, extra slice right here. Or if I want to take a uh, pancake, please, right here. I'm going to take extra slice. I'm going to put that in a, in a corner. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm going to go into French toast here. And I'm going to bring it down below my eyelids. I am going to take a little bit of uh, pancake, please, and I'm going to put it into my, my, like, crease, deep into my crease in the corner of my eyeball. Do something different. Oh, yes. So now, I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick. I'm actually trying this new um, brow cream by Morph. Um, I got the color uh, Chocolate Mousse. And this is gonna be my first time trying this. My very first time trying this. I smell everything. If y'all ever see me open stuff, I go, I smell everything. Like, like, do you guys smell your stuff before you eat it? Because I do that too. I smell my drink, my food, anything that I eat or that's going in my mouth, I smell it before I put it in my mouth. Like my drinks, my food, and makeup, obviously. Even though I don't put makeup in my mouth, but you get what I'm saying. But yeah, let's test this out. Ooh, it's smooth. Okay, I think, I think I might be liking this. I don't know yet, cause it's a little bit darker than I normally go. I don't know yet. I have to finish. Let's see. It goes on good now. This goes on really smooth, actually. And a little bit goes a long way. Like, guys, I'm barely dipping in this. Like, literally. I think I actually like this. I'm going to go ahead and conceal. I think it's a tad dark. I'm not sure yet, guys. I got to see how this, how this all come out. But it is a little bit darker than I normally go. I'm going to finish off my eyebrows real quick. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I did my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. Take a little bit of bronzer. I'm not gonna wear no blush today. I'm not wearing no blush, no nothing. I wanna try this um, highlighter illuminator. It's by Benelis Healthy Glow. I'm gonna this out and see how it works out. It looks kind of cute. It's like a gel. Put a little bit on my nose. Put a little on my brow bone. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my setting spray. For my lips, I'm just going to be taking this CoverGirl Lip Perfection Pen. It's in the color 220 Sophisticated. And then I'm just going to go in with some Jelly Gloss by e.l.f. Alright, I'm done for hair and makeup. Now I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. And I'll Okay, this is what my outfit looked like. I just chose to put on some high-waisted jean pants with some boots that I thrifted and this top from Forever 21. Yeah, this is what my outfit looks like. <laughs> 
So that is my outfit. Um, guys, I totally forgot to put on my lashes. So I did that off camera as well. But I am wearing the Ardell Double Up 113 lashes. I don't know how I forgot to put on my freaking lashes. And yeah, so this is how the look came out. Again, I am no professional when it comes to putting on makeup. I'm no professional when it comes to putting on wigs. I just do everything to my liking and follow what I do for putting on hair and makeup. And again, the wig does have some imperfections, but y'all, look at your girl, for real. I love it. I actually love this wig. I think this wig came out really good. I did do a video on how to create this wig and make this wig. So if you want to check out that video again, I will link it down below and I will link it somewhere up here in the video during the video. And yeah, so I am ready for my photos. I'm super excited, y'all. I, I get excited every time I start to take photos because I just like taking pictures. And ever since I started having kids and stuff like that, I feel like I stopped paying attention to myself and what I look like, and you know, going hard for myself. So now I'm slowly getting back to that. And if you know me, you know back in the day, I used to take hella pictures and I'm getting back to that because this is what I love to do. I like doing this. And y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and leave some positive comments down below. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching me. It really, really, really is appreciative. I appreciate you guys so much for the love and support. It never goes unnoticed at all. I'm thankful, 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 thankful for that. And yeah, um, yeah, if you like this look, again, make sure you thumbs up this video. And now I'm just talking. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about now, y'all. Just rumbling, rambling right now. I'm gonna close out this video. And like I say in all my videos, I will see you guys in my next video.